Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome to Command and Conquer Generals Zero Hour. This is my childhood. This is the game that I played so, so much, way back when I was growing up. Back in 2001, a little game came out called Command and Conquer Generals, followed up a year later by Command and Conquer's Generals Zero Hour. Now, I played Zero Hour a lot, especially the Generals challenges, but something I've never, ch never really managed to succeed with is the Stealth General, which I think is applicable for my username. So I'm going to be running a Generals challenge as Prince Kassad. Excelling in ambush and camouflage tactics, hit and run maneuvers, and just making sure that you appear where you're not expected. Let's see if I can still get this done. Versus General Granger. Come on, General. I'll show you the meaning of death from above. Oh, this brings back the memories. This area is under the control of Air Force General Malcolm Granger. Withdraw now, or prepare to be bombed back to the Stone Age. General, you're no match for me. I own the skies. Watch the skies, General. We're gonna put on an air show. Let's give him an air show. Wanna see it again? <laughs> oh, the memories. Oh, the memories. Um... This was such a fantastic game. Controls are gonna be taking a little bit of time to get used to, but that's okay. Um, the General's Challenge, in case you're unaware. You had, like, nine different factions that you could use. These different factions had different specialties. And, uh, for example, the General that you see right now, the one that I'm playing, is very good at concealing. Making sure he stays undetected. Making sure he hits from perspectives that you don't expect. The enemy is the Air Force General. He plays as the USA faction and his expertise, as you might imagine, is operating from aircraft. Aircraft which have the added benefit of being extremely difficult to shoot down as they have lasers. Lasers shooting down incoming missiles targeting the aircraft. So something like that is going to make it quite difficult for my faction, which relies on stinger sights, to start dealing with it. But what I do have available is this guy, the quad cannon. Can be upgraded with parts from enemy kills. This is a, a bit of a specialty of the GLA, the Global Liberation Army. And you can use some of these vehicles, uh, or rather, if you destroy something, it leaves behind a sort of residue, a sort of uh, part, if you will. And you can then use that to upgrade some of your vehicles. So this guy, I can push in a little bit, but it's not going to do much for the quality. It's the quad cannon. And it does do better when upgraded. Alright, we got a little bit going here. Let's get this rebel over here to start capturing this. Uh, let's hide this thing as well. And I want to start moving out as quickly as possible because I know that across the bridge there is another depot with resources. Just like this one over here. This one still has about 27k left. Um, it goes not that fast, but uh, sooner rather than later we're going to get attacked. These games always give you a bit of a breather before the game actually starts sending all of the enemy forces against you. What my rebel over here is doing is capturing an oil derrick, and with that I'll be able to get a bunch of funds. Like a, a passive income thing. Alright, let's make sure that these guys are ready to fight. Now I'm playing the game unmodded. Uh, I also played the game with mods. The problem with mods was that the game, especially the General's Challenge, sometimes didn't work. Sometimes the game was turning a bit unstable. To the tune of, well, um, it doesn't exactly progress after killing General X or killing General Y. So sometimes it just didn't work out and it wasn't exactly worth your time. Now what the GLA also has is fake structures. You can set up a sort of uh, fake base 
And you can either have them uh, be upgraded to real buildings or detonate them. Okay, here we go. It is now go time. I'm going to set up a tunnel network so I can quickly progress and get my guys over. Yeah, here we go. <coughs> here come the paratroopers. What was that again? A and then click. Now, these rangers are the least of my worries. These aircraft are a nuisance, but beyond that, not that bad. It's the helicopters and it's the bombers that are going to do a lot of damage. And that, right there, is one of those raptors, the F-22, capable of dealing with my guys fairly efficiently. Let's go hunt some dozers. Sir, I don't have any dozers. What I have are workers. There we go. Stop demolishing my oil, Derek. Damn it. Yeah, we're going to send these guys over here. Look, these raptors are shooting down everything, but they cannot shoot down my bullets. Oh, this is going to get destroyed. There goes the Derek. Get fixed. That's a combat Chinook. Shouldn't be an issue between all of the quad cannons that I have available. Oh, the other worker died. Okay. Uh, let's get you in here. And let's get you popping out there. Units and tunnel networks also get the added benefit of getting healed up. So parking your guys inside of a tunnel network can definitely be worth it. Something I also had was this, um, let's say I played this so much that <clears throat> I knew every voice line by heart and I kind of still use them to this day. It's stuff that you grew up with, it's stuff that you still have in your mind. These raptors are so annoying. Floor on the floor, let's go. <clears throat> Want another one over there. Now at some point you're going to level up and in this case if I get uh, these three I'm going to get 20% of enemy value from kills. So killing off an enemy aircraft is suddenly going to net me money. Which is really useful. So I would like some more kills. Yeah, that's going to get attacked. Go figure. Uh, where's my worker at? Here. Let's set up the palace. And I want to have... There we go. Nice job. If guys get uh, veterancy, they also start fixing themselves up. Very valuable. I want to start escorting this worker. Making sure I can start moving up. Because at some point I'm going to have to take down this guy. And start eliminating his entire base. Now my tunnel network has been destroyed. Or stinger site was it? Um, here's my other tunnel network. It's been destroyed, but it is going to get fixed. There you go. These things fix themselves. Not all buildings do that. Far from it, in fact. I want to get this thing as well. The GPS scrambler cloaks units. Makes them completely invisible. Really useful. Mm, yeah. Let's put up a stinger sight if I can live that long. You too. Let's go. Over there. Stinger side complete. This guy's almost done. Incoming. Oh, that's a drop. It's an AC one. No, sorry, there's a C one thirty C one thirty. Just dropping off a bunch of resources on depots like that. That's the income for the US. That's how they get the resources once all resource piles have been exhausted. And this one, suddenly down from 27k to 16k. So I'm next going to build a black market and I'm going to conceal this guy. All right, let's move up a little. There we go. I can now get this conceal thing. And with it, I can conceal all these units. So they cannot be detected unless they have a specific detector unit against them. And this is going to make it so that my units are going to be a lot more effective. Or a lot more safe, anyway. I can also get Arm the Mob, AK-47s. Uh, more building protection is always nice to have. Anthrax Beta is okay. 
it's not necessarily what I need. All right, supply stash built. Let's get some workers. Are you, General? Yes, sir, I am. Well, I'm not stealing your supplies, I'm just using them. Oh. Um, got some toxin tractors. Excellent at demolishing buildings, or clearing out buildings such as those. The black market's been complete. Here we go. This thing generates $20 every pop. So I'm going to build a few more. And the black market also serves for upgrades such as AP bullets, giving more damage output to my technicals, my quad cannons and Jarman Kel. Specific unit I don't have yet. I also want junk repair, so all vehicles auto repair. You go in there, you go in there. And... Oh, it's a drop off. I can now pop out my toxin tractors here and tell them to wipe out this building. Ow. Yeah, that's cute. Stop doing that. Building cleared. Alright, let's set up another war factory here. Or another, uh, what was it? Arms dealer, I think? Yeah, arms dealer. Okay, you're going to replace your fallen brother. Over here. Just that I cannot conceal it yet. Take the building, take the building. 50%. We've got 3k in the bank going up fairly quickly. This thing has been captured, yes. There was another one, I believe. Yeah, they're still garrisoning more buildings. Okay. Let's take this. And over here, we're approaching the general's base. Uh, what I can do is use a couple of these guys. They're not ideal, these motorcycles, but they do allow me to run up these hills and attack from an unknown vector, or at least an unexpected area. Really, really nice. Really, really useful. All right, there's another de uh, supply depot there. So I'd love to take that. Did my toxin tractor survive? No. Oh! Not the only one there. Let's go. Four on the floor. Off we go. Attack move here. And let's upgrade the rocket buggies as well. Get another black market going. Rocket buggies. And you're going to research the scan. What? Oh, it's another transport plane. I want to shoot down all these nooks. All the nooks here. And we're going to send in the combat cycles. Problematic is that these guys just have rebels on them. So just basic infantry. But, I mean, it works. It's not great damage output, but it's some. <laughs> That's a lot more, though. <laughs> yeah, that went about as well as I could expect. All right, uh, you. Start building another black market. You are going to build another supply depot here for me, if there is room. What do you want? Oi! Ah, that's my worker. Fine. Let's get a new one. Start upgrading AP rockets, and let's give the worker some new shoes. Thank you for the new shoes. Oh, this brings back the memories. All right, you're going to go in there. Fix this thing up, please. I can always <clears throat> get more workers from here. Oh, this hasn't even been secured. That's a problem. When am I going to get this sneak attack? A little bit of time. All right. Now, the problem is those Comanches. They're capable, very, very capable, in fact, of very quickly dealing with a lot of my forces. Um, what Patriot sites, these things are fairly good at, is dealing with vehicles. They're not very good at dealing with non-vehicles, aka infantry. You just bring enough infantry, you're going to make their lives really quite difficult. And especially angry mobs. Angry mobs are, well, they're just funny. Because they are exactly what you think they are. It's just a bunch of really angry people preparing to go on the offensive. 
And I believe I have all the upgrades researched. There. Let's start building a super weapon. Scott Storm. There we go. And we're going to get the angry mobs. First conceal the barracks. Then get the angry mobs. I suspect the angry mobs are going to get met by aircraft. So it's going to be fairly required to bring a couple of these quad trucks. Uh, I also want a rebel so I can start capturing these things. As for defense, this is not that useful, but hey ho. We also got the hijacker, oh, sorry, the saboteur. Can temporarily disable enemy buildings, but yeah. I generally don't use them because they're a bit of a one off. It's also very likely that my angry mob is going to get bombed. But I kind of want them to. Because if my angry mob gets bombed, my quad trucks are going to shoot it down. Quad cannons. Alright, so that is in progress. That's in progress. Let's get more money coming in. Alright, boys. Attack move. Prepare all the quad cannons. Yeah, you cannot stop all of us. Although you can do a <laughs> fairly good effort. <laughs> oh yeah, they're done. Wow, okay. Alright, let's escalate some things. Bring a bomb truck. Uh, these things are very, very poor when it comes to dealing with these uh, pods. So best not use those. I still need a bunch more experience. Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, the Comanches are here. How oh, nice. And the Raptors. So it looked like he took some time to repair his buildings. Bomb truck. Um, I want to get the high explosive bomb. Oh, there's still a building in there. The bomb trucks are really good at concealing themselves like something else. So I can make this thing look like a quad cannon, but ideally, of course, you'd make it look like something that the enemy has. Like a dozer. And this does mean they're going to get detected. But it's going to take them their sweet time figuring out that this is in fact not a dozer. There we go. And that wiped that out. Attack move there. Next bomb truck is ready to go. And let's get a bunch of buggies. Now they're probably a lot better force composition than what I'm using. But hey, I just love playing this. Here we go. Disguise is this. You're going to get that. You're going to start capturing this. Ooh. Yeah, got it. No, you're not going to build that. Once I take down these two Patriot sites, I'm pretty much home free. There's not a whole lot that they can still do. Mm, German Kel is not strictly necessary here. No, I just want the buggies. Let's kick up some dirt. Rocket buggies. Pretty much exactly what they sound like. Ah, very good. Sneak attack. These are also really fun. Sneak attacks allow you to pop in from the map or pop in from anywhere you're not wanted. So I can open up a sneak attack right over there. And I can instantly pop out a lot of units that I have stashed in the tunnel network. It doesn't work for angry mobs. It does work for basically everything else. Even a battle boss. And a battle boss could be very useful here. So let's bring a couple of battle buses. I can also hit them with a Scott Storm, although it's a bit over the top. You don't really need a Scott Storm. But again, the game allows you to play it as you see fit. There we go. This is my artillery. To some extent. I ride alone. Here we go. Start taking this guy down. No. No, 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 no. 
You're gonna be dead if you stay there too long. Two. There we go. Attack move. Two, attack move. This poor infantry. Push. Here come the helicopters again. Very, very quickly dealt with. Start murdering this, please. Shut down their power. Oh, actually, no. Shut this down. My gun trucks, my quad cannons are not great for this, but it's the best I have at the moment. Let's start breaking down their airfields. That's where most of their units are going to spawn from. Ah, here is one of those upgrade things. So I can easily... Ow. Get this, and now i got a bigger gun on it. You're going to take this down. Whatever, we're going to go right for the command center. This, please. This upgrading thing doesn't work for every unit, but for the quad cannons it's really nice. There. No, thank you. Stealth fighters. Keep pushing. I'm not going to need that um, that scheduled <coughs> uh, hidden strike anyway. It's fine. Let's get you upgraded. There we go. Take this down. Be quick about it. Your brethren are in trouble. Next airfield. Next airfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna come for me personally. Bring it. I welcome it. Scott Storm is also ready, but I'm just gonna hit my own stuff if I actually use that. Now, these upgraded quad cannons are no joke. They do a lot of damage. There we go. I took out enough power plants. He doesn't have power. The GLA doesn't use power. So, I don't care about not having power plants. Oh. That was great. Shut this down. Shut this down. Oh crap, you're getting attacked, are you? Loads of boarding. Yeah, to the tune of we don't have any infantry left. Or we don't have any... Oh. Hello. Do you still have another airfield? Oh, that's the aircraft carrier that's providing assistance from offshore, I suppose. Alright, destroy every building and we're done. Did I take everything down here? Yes. Oh, a couple power plants. Oh, they're powering up again. Should have taken down the power plants first. Thankfully, I got auto repair. Let's go. Last couple power plants and we're done. And the last one. Job done. We are victorious. We are victorious. Excellent. It's time for me to go find a good airline job. Ah, uh, yes. So, that's one general down. Still many more to go. Um, I really felt like playing this again. I would really like to see what you guys think about it down below in the comment section. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, maybe see you next time for more generals.